Hello everybody, today we are going to be learning how to make a Flappy Bird game on Scratch. So it's going to be a really easy and simple tutorial, it should only take a few minutes. Um, obviously I'm not using the exact Flappy Bird sprites. This one I found online, the link will be in the description below. Um, and this one I literally just threw it together myself in like 15 seconds. But anyways, we are going to take these two sprites and turn them into a full-on game. So let's go ahead and get into it. So the first thing we are going to do is we are going to go ahead and start by creating... I think what we should do is go ahead and create our bird first. So I'm going to create a new sprite and I'm just going to call it the bird. And I'm going to paste in my costume here. Um... And so we, you know, we just got our little birdie. Um, now in Flappy Bird, I believe that the bird is not in the middle of the screen. It's sort of towards the back a bit. So I'm just going to do, uh, you know, minus one, one, five. I think, I think we'll, uh, I'm not sure. Okay, so yes, I'm correct. I just checked and the bird is sort of to the left of the screen. Um, so here's what we're going to do. We are going to quickly say, we're going to say when flag is clicked, forever. And before we go on uh, and create some more logic, what we're going to do is we are going to create a new vari variable and we are going to call it YVEL, which will stand for Y Velocity. And I'm going to go ahead and set it for this sprite only. It doesn't really matter, but anyways, I'm going to delete the my variable. So... We are going to forever change YVEL by negative 1. So just put a minus 1 in there. And what we're going to do is we are going to change our Y. We're going to change it by YVEL. And I like to put this before the change YVEL by negative 1. And I'm going to say if. And for now, I'm just going to use the space key. I'm going to say if, oh, not if touching, we're going to say if key, if, uh, key space is pressed, what we're going to do is we are going to set YVEL to, I'm going to say 10, and just go ahead and put this in above all of it. So here, go ahead and click play and see what happens. As you can see, you now have some jumping physics and whatnot. Um, so yeah, we now have that. Um, so the bird, our bird's physics are already done. I mean, it's pretty much done aside from detecting, okay, have we touched a pipe or have we not, you know? So let's, I'm going to go ahead and grab our pipe and I'm just going to copy that costume. And what I'm going to do is create a new sprite and I'm going to call it pipes. And here's what we're going to do. Okay. This is going to be different from what you might see elsewhere. Uh, but here's what we're going to do. So we're going to have a single costume. And we are going to have the pipe. We're going to have... We're going to have it one down here. And then I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to go ahead and flip it vertically. So that it's upside down. And then I'm going to put it on top. I'm going to put it up here. So... This should give us enough room for, and uh, once you do this, um, go ahead and center it. Uh, you know, move up however much you need, or, but, and then go ahead and center it, okay? And make sure, just make sure you have a lot of length down here and up here. Make sure it goes off out of this main canvas area as much as you can get it. So, like, for me, I'm just going to have it there, all right? Uh, because what we're going to do is we're going to have it go to a random position on the Y, uh, a random Y position. That way, it's, you know, we have a more random, randomly generated position for our pipes to spawn in. So, pretty much like that. And here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go, I'm going to push it as far to the right as I can. So usually I just do that by putting in, oh, not on the Y position. Uh, set the Y to zero. And then 
Usually I just put in an absurdly large exposition to see how far it'll actually go. Uh, and then go ahead and we're going to say when flag is clicked, we are going to hide. All right. And then we are going to create a clone of myself. And then we're going to say when I start as a clone, what we're going to do is show. And we are going to, uh, we are going to go to... 269 that's as far as it'll go on this side and then okay so let's see this so before we don't want this to be up here you know we want it to be sort of off the edge so what we can do is this is the highest that we can get our sprite so the y position of 71 so we are going to pick random we're going to set our position to be between so for our maximum, we're going to do 71, and this will depend on your sprite, so it might not be 71. And then for the minimum, so we're going to go down as far as we can, we're going to set it to negative 74. I am at least negative 74, so that's as low as we can actually get the pipes. So if you see this, uh, the pipes spawn at a random Y position over here and what we can do this is we can say repeat until and how far to the left can we get our sprite okay negative 269 so we can say repeat until and I'm gonna do an or here I'm gonna say repeat until and the first thing we're gonna do is be we're gonna say touching bird or get the less less than or X position is less than, and you never, ever, ever want to say X position is less than whatever the limit is. You always want to give it a little bit of room. So if we're going to say negative 260, because, because negative 269 is the furthest it can go to the left, it's never going to be able to go anywhere less than. So that's why you want to sort of not have it be exactly that so I'm gonna say so repeat until uh, touching bird or exposition is less than 260 and for now I'm just gonna change our X by negative 5 let's see how that goes okay not bad not bad at all um, and what we're gonna say is we're going to do another one. We're going to say when I start as a clone, and we are going to wait until. And we'll say wait until X position is less than zero. And then we will create a clone of myself. So this is going to infinitely spawn more clones. As you can see. Now, okay, so... There's, okay, so it infinitely spawns more pipes, but I just ran into our first problem. When you hit a pipe, the other ones move. So here's what we're going to do. We are going to create a new variable, and we are going to call it speed. And when flag is clicked, we are going to set speed to negative 5. And we are going to change our x position over here. We're going to change it by speed. And what we can do is this. We can say... Um, we will set speed to zero because so this is going to run until it's either touching the bird or the exposition is less than zero. Uh, and after all that's done, it's going to set our speed to zero. Now, we let's say this we're going to delete, we're going to say if touching bird, we're going to set speed to zero. And then we will just say if x position is less than minus 260, and then we'll just delete clone. So this will do this. So as you can see, it'll delete the clone once it gets back there. And then if we actually touch a pipe, they all stop. The level stops. Pretty much the game ends. And what we can do this is we can say, uh, inside of this, let's, we'll do this. I'm just going to say, for now, I'm going to say if touching, 
and then pipes and then I'm just gonna stop this script so watch do, 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 do. boom the whole thing stops the whole game stops um, and you can maybe trigger something that says like nope that's not what I wanted you can maybe create a new sprite and just call it game over and then have it say text you know just have some text that says game over and for that you can just do something like when flag is clicked we will hide and then go back to your bird um, let's see yeah go back to your bird and just broadcast so in the events you can do broadcast game over and then in the game over sprite you can say when I receive game over you will just show and then we might as well just stop all for now now you don't have to do this this will stop the whole project itself but watch do 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 there you go game over so guys that is how you create a flappy bird game in scratch so i hope you guys found this tutorial helpful you can obviously customize the code in the game to be more of your own game but this should kind of give you the basic the basic understanding of how to go about making a flappy bird game on scratch so if you found this tutorial helpful just let me know and i will be sure to you know do some more stuff like this um, and you guys have a good day and i will see you in the next video